filmed on the 11th of July 2014 in Monkeray, New South Wales, Australia. Yeah, <laughs> although, do you need the internet for the next nine days? <laughs> Do you need to actually get onto your Facebook page and check out who's interested in you and what you're doing? Do you... My kids. <laughs> well, Do you yeah, need your probably... kids for the next Monday? <laughs> Do you need your kids for the next Monday? Okay, that's a good question. Um, I've left Sol at home on his own and I just... How old's Sol? Um, 16. Yep. So just... I and guess the fact I... that you've left him home on your own means he can look after himself, right? Yeah, but I feel this... Um, and he's pretty responsible, isn't he? He is, he's we, great. We all know, oh, like yeah. I know so. Like, yeah, he's great, but yeah. I feel um, this, mm -hmm. that I should be doing that as a parent. Yeah, so I'm you here. feel guilt, so that would be a yep. good emotion to deal with. Yep. yep, okay. What else do you feel? That I haven't been such a great mum. Yep, so that's guilt, that's another bit of guilt. What else do you feel? If you don't talk to your child for nine days, how does it feel? Um, Can I be blunt? Yes. You yes. have an emotionally incestuous relationship with your son. Yep, still. Yep. yep, and honestly, nine days without having to talk to you would benefit him greatly. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But that's up to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right, and see, see, many of us are not aware, are we, with our children that, you know, honestly, in the long run, we, you, you might not see, you know, in, in the spirit world, there's people who have never seen their children for 200 years, 500 years. Why is that? Can we know why? <laughs> different desires. If we use some mics, maybe different desires. Teresa. Teresa. Kids just don't want to see their parents. Who's parent? Who's the pen? Who's the, who's the birth, daddy? Yeah, who's the parents, daddy? Yeah. God. Uh, uh, not you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not so. What, what's this concept that we still have? My son. Wh whose son? God's son. Who's who, who, is he? Your son? No, he's your brother. He's your brother. He's your, just your little brother, right? Yeah, and, and sometimes in someone like cases like Saul, sometimes he knows more about God's truth than you do, so you're his little <laughs> sister from God's perspective. Does that make sense? Right? Now, now, this is what kind of relationship we need to start developing with our children if we're going to get over our addictions. Many of our addictions involve our children. When we go through the relationships section on Tuesday, you'll find that, the, that many of your addictions you have involved your children in. And in fact, for many of you, your children are just there to meet your addictions. And you need to do something about that if you're ever going to be close to God. So I'm not saying don't have a relationship with them. I'm saying that you're going to have to confront all of the error in the relationship that you've created so that you can avoid other relationships. Mm -hmm. So can I ask you what relationship, Nina, you've avoided with having a relationship with your son? My soulmate relationship. Yes, and? My relationship with my father? No, your relationship with God. Oh, okay. Of right? course. Yeah. One of the things that we were going, going, going to go through you is one of the most important things you, you don't understand yet is that almost every relationship you've created in this life has been a relationship so that you could avoid the confrontation that God is having with you with regard to your, your addictions in relationships with God. Did you get what I just said? No. You want to say that again? <laughs> yes. Right. God wants a relationship with you. Your primary relationship will be a relationship with God, but God is not going to feed your addictions. Ever. And you don't like that. So you know what you did? You decided that you weren't going to have a relationship with God because God was naughty and God was not going to feed your addictions. And instead, you were going to have relationships with other people who would feed your addictions. Do you get that? So one of the primary ways you avoid your relationship with God is by having addictive, codependent relationships with other people. Because God does not feed your addictions and you want your addictions met so much that you go, if you, God, I'm not having a relationship with you, I'm going to have a relationship with every other possible person who's going to give me what I want. Right? 
and this is one of the things we don't understand, mm. is that we are actually having relationships with other people in a lot of the times because we want to avoid the relationship with God because when we attempt to have a relationship with God, it confronts every emotion within us and we don't like it. We pray for God's love, don't get any. And we go, where do we go? Oh, I'm not getting any from God, so it must be all God's fault, so I'll go and get it from somebody else. And you know, for many of us, our children have been the persons that we've primarily got the emotions from that we couldn't get from somebody else. And that's very sad, in fact. And that's one of the things we're going to go through on Tuesday. So I'm just giving you a little taste there of some of the things that we're going to be confronted with. <laughs> so my suggestion is think about everything you do this week. You've got an opportunity to be com contemplative. contemplative, haven't you, this week. You haven't got all of these external pressures all of your external pressures of work and other relationships and all these other things, having to shop. You don't even have to cook for yourself. No, isn't that <laughs> fantastic? And so you have an opportunity to use all that time to actually be contemplative, to, to look at yourself. So my suggestion is to have a look at everything that you feel drawn into doing. And if that's talking to your kids and what, all, all the other things that you're drawn into doing, Feel about them and think, okay, let's, let's look at this from God's perspective for a change. That's what we're going to encourage you to do. And we're going to help, try to help you see God's perspective by our discussions. Does that make sense? So it should be fun, huh? No worries. Well, I think we've said enough tonight and, and, and we, we look forward to this interaction with you. So we're, we're hoping we can enjoy this interaction with you, have fun with it, and also help each other learn a lot in the process. And we hope that uh, in the end that you do actually learn a lot. But, but a lot of that will depend upon... Yeah, you. It will depend upon you. Yeah. Uh, you know... The reality is we can talk and talk and talk and you know I can talk, right? <laughs> we can talk and talk and talk and, and, yet, and yet it can all just go, can't it? In one ear and out the other. And for a lot of us it doesn't even go in one ear, <laughs> let alone out the other. You know? And that's because we are so blocked to receiving truth. So we need to confront some of these things. So that's what we'll try to do this week.